Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the show. Today, I'm gonna head out into a marsh system that has been kind to me in the past, especially whenever we have days like today. Uh, there is little to no wind in the morning. It picks up later on in the afternoon, but because summer is fast approaching, the heat is, it's starting to get unbearable. And uh, I wanna be off the water by 12. So hopefully, we're gonna have a nice day and uh, I'm still chasing after those tailing reds. Haven't seen them lately, but hopefully this marsh system is gonna produce. tell y'all what everyone as I sit here and sip this cup of coffee it sure does beat being in the Marine Corps sitting behind my desk and doing the same thing I mean look at the scenery that I've got here we're entering into the marsh system beautiful sunrise right there I was able to take that in and just oh I love this job and I have each and every one of y'all to thank for it cheers here we go, what do we have? Uh, let's try the bugs. It's a, a curl tail redfish jig. Flounder absolutely love this as well. Okay. I'm just gonna slowly work it all the way back the entire piece of bank because I don't know if that guy is staying put or if he's actually gonna be moving the way a redfish would don't know too much about flounder but what I do know is that they taste really good all right one more cast and then we're gonna move on this guy just does not want to play it's okay because we got plenty of water to fish and I just want to hurry up and make my way to the back lake. So let's stop wasting time and get back there. So we've got some aggressively feeding. I don't know if it's reds, trout, flounder, but they are just going crazy. We're going to power pole back up and try to get just a little bit closer. Yeah, they're all right here. This, this entire pool, we are about to have a field day. Got him, just like that. Hurry up and get him away from there. What is it? Oh, that's a nice size speckled trout. Get the ego. Come here, buddy. Get inside my net. Yeah. Well, the first fish to take home right there. Beautiful trout. Holy cow, they are just blowing up all over everything. We're gonna eat good today. Look at our lunch right there. And what did we get them on? The flats bug. Sometimes y'all hear me call this thing the flats killer. Um, just know that it's a bugs fishing flats bug. I mean, that is just so crazy. No need to measure this guy because I already know he's gonna fit. Let's get him on the stringer. There we go. Oh my gosh, so many more fish to catch. It's crazy. Oh <laughs> gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to pick somebody off. These are the days that you live for right here. Whenever you see them, fish just go ballistic. They're going crazy on that bait. <laughs> I just missed them. Oh my gosh. All right. Come on. I, I know y'all want it, man. Okay, we got to get a lot closer to the bank because that's where they're feeding. Oh my gosh, bro. 
Where, where are you? I mean, it's like ding dong ditching me. Gotcha. Ah, oh, he got off. I was just trying to hurry up and swim him away from the entire school that's crushing the bait. I don't want to spook those guys. There we go. Not that time, baby. I'm trying to hurry up and get him away. Oh, another solid trout. Get in the net. Oh, yeah. All right, so that y'all can see what we're working with. Here we go. We're going to measure this fella. He's going home, so no need to wet the board. This is probably the last one that I'm going to keep as well. I don't like to keep limits. I mean, it's, I'm not saying that because I always catch limits because, man, y'all know for those of y'all that watch the show, I don't always catch limits, but I'm just saying that if I have an opportunity like today, I don't just keep limits just because. That's a 16-incher right there. Beautiful stud trout. All right, here we go. And the flats bug is getting it done. There we go. Get Y'all go down there and y'all just play nice, okay? I want y'all chill. There we go. That's a great cast. Oh, we just, there, there it is. There it is. Come on, come on, chase it. Ugh. I can hear them around the bend. All right, come on, buds. Oh, we just lost them. Boy, that, that bite is super quick. It's like, boom, and then he lets it go quick. He's like, get, get out of here. That, that was too hard to be bait. There we go. Come on. Let's see. There we go. Set the hook really quick. As soon as you feel the thump. Oh, yes. We probably got another solid fish. Oh, yeah, another keeper-sized trout. 16, 15, something like that. Hold on, buddy. Hooked right in the top of the mouth. Oh no, it got his gill, but he's gonna be fine. All right, all right, all right, all right. There you go. He's gonna be just fine. Got another one. <laughs> this one's got a lot more weight. Wow. That is a nice one. They are all keeper sized trout. Beautiful catch, Mark. All right, let's get you off. That is a good hook set, too. Look at that hook set right there. Oh, my gosh. Healthy trout. The flats bug with the Slavalicious trailer. Right there. Blue crab. Spectacular catch. One more, and we got ourselves a limit of trout if we were keeping them. I'm all, I only like to harvest what I plan on eating. And we've already got two nice size fellas on the stringer. Gotcha. You know, this is like, since I've been fishing, this is the first time that I've ever seen speckled trout acting like redfish. The way, it's just very characteristic like of the reds when they, man, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to keep keep my camera lens away from this guy. <clears throat> bro, you're gonna have to chill out with that stuff, bro. This one's a bigger one. He's probably about 18 inches. But yeah, I've never seen speckled trout going this crazy for bait right up against the bank. Normally that's redfish and these guys definitely fooled me. Gosh, stud trout right there. When I say stud, it's not a gator trout, so y'all bear with me. Uh, please don't poop on my parade. Uh, this is a stud trout for me catching in here inside the marsh. Got some nice size fillets. All right, enjoy the rest of your life. Please go make babies, man, please. Whew, and just like that, let's. Uh, we got this lens all dirty. Get it out of the sun. We got ourselves a, a nice limit of speckled trout. Uh, I'm going to let these guys be, although I would want to catch them. I'm still anxious to try and find 
a lot of tailing reds. Oh my gosh, we're getting bit just down there. Holy cow, we got to get this out the water. Um, I, a lot of tailing reds. I, <laughs> I haven't seen no tailing reds this season, but uh, I definitely want to go find them. So let's get to the back lake and see what we can do over there. Oh my God, <laughs> it just scared the crap out of me, man. Good night. Hopefully the GoPro got that. Okay, so we've made it into the back lake and I haven't seen any reds, no signs of blowups or anything like that. Wind has picked up just a bit more. I'm going to fish this spot right here where I normally catch a lot of reds. Y'all can see that fish mark right there. That's just because I've caught plenty right here. I'm about to power pole down, turn the uh, uh, trolling motor off, fish this for a good 30 minutes, like up and down the bank. And if we don't get anything, there's a spot behind me where there is a small little pond within the back lake that usually always produces some reds because they go in there to get a quick bite to eat. And if that doesn't work, well, we're just gonna head out of here. I mean, we've had a successful day. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself so far. So let's try and get this curl tail bug, the second generation, into some action. Uh oh. Has he got it? That's a flounder. It's got to be a flounder. Look at that. That's not a flounder. Piggy perch, something like that. Oh, wait. He's got it. That it was something big enough. It's probably a flounder. It was like peck, 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 peck. What is that? <laughs> that is, is it a black drum? What are you, buddy? Yeah, it's a, wait, what are you? Are you a black drum or a redfish? Get us a, no, it's a black drum. It's a little baby. <laughs> it is like peck, 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 peck. You rambunctious turd. <laughs> awesome dude look at that on the curl tail grub this dude just like <laughs> boom, boom, boom. i was like what is it trying to pretend to be a piggy perch man great hook set the curl tail bug oh my gosh spectacular catch what a great day all right, ladies and gentlemen, I was gonna cook the fish today. However, it just got way too late. So I'm gonna end this one right now. And if I decide to film the cook portion of it, uh, it's not gonna be anything extravagant, but if I do decide to cook it, and uh, not that if I decide to cook it, if I decide to film it, then that just might possibly be another video. But as it stands right now, what a great day out there on the water. Did not quite find the schooling reds, but we did manage to bump into a really nice sized school of speckle trout that were keeper sized. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Click that thumbs up button for me. And for those of y'all that just stumbled onto the channel and you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to smash that bell icon so that YouTube will notify you whenever I drop more videos. That is gonna do it. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.